Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. Today is Monday the 11th and today was a beautiful day outside. Warmed up enough, I actually opened the house up for a little bit. It was warmer outside than it was inside, which has not been the case for quite some time for us. But got this morning, headed outside. Uh, still a little chilly in the morning, hopped in the hot tub like I try and do most days. Um, from there, went back in, got a few things taken care of, nothing real major. Um, Karen got off to work. Had a few things around the house to do. I ended up um, getting just random dumb stuff done. But one of the things I did get done is I moved out. Uh, had a bunch of old records and stuff and some other things stored. A bunch of old photos and whatnot that Karen has stored in one of the back bedrooms that um, had some holes knocked in it from um, children. Just bullshit. When the kids lived here type thing. So, um, not really sure. I I kicked a hole in, the, in, a door, in a wall once when I was like in kindergarten. I think it was. I had a rabbit died or first grade, first grade, and had a little pet rabbit that I'd found, a wild rabbit that I was trying to bottle feed up and it died and I freaked out and kicked a hole in the wall out of anger and never done that since then. So it is what it is, but yeah, I had to get that patched up. So basically cutting into it where it broke, it was a dumb, like we're at, it's, it's a bad spot. It's right around a light switch and so on and so forth. It becomes a real pain in the ass to fix. So um, had to get anything else. I want to get the main stuff out of there. I didn't want to get kind of getting dirty sawdust and I saw this, but drywall dust is just disgusting, especially when it comes time to start taping it and mudding it and sanding it and texturing it and everything else that comes along with it. So I uh, went ahead, got that cut out. Um, I was going to cut back in like halfway into the stud and then basically tap it in, but then I realized like it's a pain in the butt to try and cut half of the drywall off and you run the risk of, you know, hitting another, you know, nail or screw there. And I'm just like, I'm just going to put a furry strip in um, left and right, top and bottom, both and they square but the way the square comes in <clears throat> the top left corner is right where the outlet lands and of course that's where they seam the um, the sheetrock which when you're putting the house together it's no big deal you pop it up you only have to do the one seam only one cut out there it's not a big deal in the process but it becomes a pain in the butt for me so now I gotta decide do I cut on up around it so I make it just kind of drops in there or how I'm gonna do it and I asked a few people on Facebook and whatnot the little groups and uh, it sounds like everybody kind of had both mixed back and forth some said yes you know, cut it up larger. Others said cut it smaller. Others said cut it back to the stud. I'm like, I already cut it back to the stud. So, but from the picture, they couldn't see that. So, spent a little time there um, figuring out what it is. Just the cleanup of that drywall is just so gross. It's so gross. And there's carpet in the room. It's carpet's getting thrown away. So, I'm leaving the carpet down basically to protect the flooring until it comes time to pop the carpet out, which I'm going to pull the base trim, baseboards out. Probably going to replace all the baseboards and hang in that room as well and um, go from there. So, we'll see what happens because it's, it's in pretty bad shape. So, there's other little dents and holes everywhere so I got to get the whole thing remudded and smooth and then I'm not sure I'm gonna go heavy texture knock down I don't know what I'm gonna do I might just go without doing like a flat true like to take smooth ass wall uh, my neighbor is a drywaller um, they has company does drywall and stuff so he could do basically anything I want to do in there and would charge me virtually nothing or nothing kind of thing um, to do it but I kind of want to learn so I can then go do it my next project or the next room or so on and so forth because it might not always be my neighbor and it might not always want to do free work for me so definitely I want to educate myself in what would be um, something that I could handle and reproduce uh, over and over again on a later time for myself as well so also mess with I found a free table um, on the side of the road I went and picked it up I was trying to get it open it was jammed up um, some I don't know what was going on with it but it wouldn't it wouldn't Jordan come open had it upside down had it back and forth back and forth back and forth and as I was trying to jiggle around the bottom broke off the drawer which had to have been correct so I wasn't pulling that hard on it and then I found there's a drywall screw in there that got jammed up in it so I was able to get it knocked loose um, at that point once I broke the front off at eight care so I gave it a good kick and felt I could feel the drywall screw but it was stuck in there so I had jammed the drawer up into it so once I gave it a big kick um, it went ahead and it popped out. I got the drawer open. There was grossness in it. It was all kinds of gross shit. Tons of like cigarette butts. Like who the fuck put cigarette butts in a drawer? But it is what it is. Uh, a couple empty cigarette packs as well. Uh, I was hoping there'd be like some money in the cigarette packs. There was one you'll find people will, like hide a twenty dollar bill in their cigarette pack, like as a wallet type thing. And that wasn't the case. But uh, I'm gonna try and glue the door, but the drawer back on. I spent probably an hour and a half looking for my glue. I know I have glue around here somewhere. I have um, tight bond wood glue and no clue. Can't find that shit anywhere. I didn't the point i even texted my wife and said hey did you i know it's probably not like, did you steal or remove my glue like did you take it for something like what the hell yeah i have no idea so it's like well i just got on amazon order but shit's like three times the price double three times the price as it is on at home depot and i'm like i don't feel like going today so i kind of pushed that project back off i didn't feel like going and dealing with that um i did go out um to the store hit up uh, winn dixie down here 
was it nothing you know got stuff and you found some chocolate milk they rarely ever have like chocolate milk whole milk um true moo is the only chocolate milk down here in um, florida that's even close to drinkable um nothing like ae up home that's the one thing i do miss about iowa the most probably ae chocolate milk that stuff is the bomb oh my god it's so delicious to the point the first uh, couple times I went back home i didn't drink any because like I started drinking the True Moo, and I was like, well, if I drink the A, it's going to remind me of how bad True Moo is, so I'm not going to drink it. And after that, I was like, the hell with that. I, like, literally the moment I get, like, in St. Louis, you know, Kansas, wherever the hell I'm coming up through, as soon as I can find a store, I'm buying, like, a gallon of that shit and just knocking the hell out of it. Like, I just drink it all the time, so it works out really well. So even, like, uh, last time I flew in, and my buddy picked me up, and we stopped at a Casey's, and I bought, like, I think a half gallon, and I drank it on the way home. Like, I just, I bought a gallon at hy V and threw it in the, turn of the car, and it's wintertime, so it just stayed cold, stuck that nice slushy, never froze. Then I get in the car, just grab it, just drink it out of a gallon jug like a wino would drink out of moonshine. And it was awful. But it would warm up in the car a little bit, and then I put it back in the trunk, and it thawed back down. It would freeze back up again and stuff, and it thawed back in the car as I'm drinking it. So that lasted me five days, I think it was. I was up there five days to drink a gallon of milk. Plus the quart on the way home, plus the half gallon. But yeah, so I drank a lot of milk. So I also had like a dozen donuts as well. It was just, um, it was a glutton. I, there's a few things up there I miss, and I, I indulge when I'm up there. So. But back, I got the table, so I had to wait on it. I get my glue. I'm not willing to pay the extra price there, so it is what it is. But when I had grabbed it, it was fish meals at uh, when Dixie was there. Um, this, they're six bucks. It feeds Karen and I both. Um, takes like 30 minutes in the oven. It's nothing. They're amazing. I got the stuffed salmon, a um, bunch of potatoes. They got carrots and squash and zucchini and broccoli. And we don't put in the um, the um, Brussels, uh, the um, asparagus because it doesn't it needs to be cooked longer it doesn't have enough to steam it this always comes out woody i don't know if it's bad at asparagus they have or if it just needs to cook like an hour to really get it good i don't know but it's never never good so we just stopped putting it in there um got back from there hung around the house a little bit nothing real major um waited for karen to get home from work went for our um, her walk and then i went for my run and I should have went before. I don't know why I didn't go earlier, but it was what it is. So waited for her to get back. I should have ran first, but it's always that little chilly side when you're running and then you walk, you're all sweaty and stuff. But went ahead and got dark enough that um, I need my headlamp by the time she got done with her walk with us together. So I came back to the house, grabbed a headlamp, headed back out, got my run in real quick. Um, went ahead, and after that, we hung out, watched some TV, ate some, I, I showered, I cooked some fish, um, had a wonderful little time. Came out here outside, basically chilled out, had myself a nice cigar. Um, end up putting on a jacket it got chilly enough at night i had to put a jacket on so but overall it's just an absolutely gorgeous beautiful day so that's all i got for now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching